Hey guys, Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter for your basic Sorgonomics. Sorgatron.com. So uh, I want to talk about podcasting. I want to talk about, I don't, I don't have the concept podcasting itself, but uh, I was really proud of my clients. I had to call off for uh, a myriad of reasons uh, last last week to, uh, I, I go down to to Export PA, a good hour drive and commute. Ugh. Uh, every Monday, that's the only part of it. I love working with these, these these people. I love the subject matter. It, it is is fun. I can I can work with that. Uh, but it's just that drive. And so there were some things that came up, and I couldn't get out there. Uh, thinking, uh, okay, great. Uh, of course, I'm the only one that worries about. But I have no content going out for the week, and I have some automated stuff that goes out, so it's not completely like a ghost town on on their on their social media platforms or anything like that. But still, it's like, I can create something for them to do something. Uh, turns out, as I discovered, uh, they uh, actually went and did a podcast without me. Huh, how about that? Uh, they, they, Of course, I, I mean, it was uh, one of those things like, you know, uh, there's always been the move or the suggestion to say, hey, some more people need to learn this in case you're not here. I'm like, okay, okay. And I haven't called off a day in well over a year, I think, out there. So, you know, other than the holiday moving around and stuff like that, uh, you know, things coming up like that. But I, I don't think I've just been like, I can't come in today, you know, uh, for, for a good long time there. And it's a contract job, and it's not like I have sick days or anything like that, you know. Uh, but uh, but I was really impressed. Now, I mean, their setup isn't terribly complicated. Now, they do have these lights, like these big standy lights that they, they bought a little more recently. So they're setting those up. Uh, and they're, and you maybe you see the pictures on Mondays. I'm usually retweeting them and everything. If you want to kind of see them, uh, look for Seclair on Instagram or Seclair Life on Twitter or Seclair uh, out of Export PA on your Facebook. And, and you'll find it, and you'll see these shots of like three people sitting around with an older gentleman in the middle, and these are our educational grand rounds, and they're using something like if you're on video, what I'm holding up here. This is actually the lower end model I bought by accident uh, of what they have here, but it's a blue snowball microphone, a very good about a fifty dollar mic uh, that you can get on Amazon, a good starter mic for you. It's USB and everything like that, and it's a fun ball shape. And if you take it off the stand, it rolls off the table really easy. Don't do that. Um, and then they have a nice uh, Logitech webcam, nicer than the one I'm using here now, uh, about, a, about an $80 model of the C920, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, you can look for that, uh, 920, 910, one of those is discontinued. You can get one of them on, on Amazon for about that price, maybe a little cheaper by now. So that's kind of it for the setup, and it all ports into a Mac Mini, and we use QuickTime X to record. Okay, we're, we're, we're good to go. Um showed one of the secretaries there a, a while ago and and I, I showed her she took notes but she's not there all the time because it's very busy uh to kind of keep up with it and 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 remember everything but then there's another guy there that's also a, a, a designer web web guy kind of thing and uh that, that's been working on, on some of their print initiatives lately and and he knows most of this stuff too he's, he's had a mac and everything uh, so between the two of them, they got it together. They did a show without me, and fantastic. And now, and, and and even as it is, these are not the most crazy, wow, wow, professional shows ever. But they got the job done. They get the information out there. I think they're very listenable. Um, if you're into the content, right? I think the audio quality is 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 fairly okay for having a one mic and we're capturing three people kind of situation. I love to upgrade it, but but it's again kind of working within our means here. Um, and it was there, and we had content, and it was grand, and the angels sang because we had a show, even though I wasn't there. Um, it's kind of the ultimate uh, teaching them how to fish, right? Which is really funny considering one of the themes for other podcasts that we do. But anyways, um, but no, I, I and I, and I don't know what that's. I'm kind of deciphering what that says. It's like, do they need me to do things? Did I just work myself out of a job? But no, 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 no. Really, because I'm I'm kind of helping them build, and I can't uh, be the person to do everything, be the point person all the time. And now they can do some things, and maybe I don't need to be there for X, and which will hopefully free me up to other things. Not, not that I think we're replacing me as far as doing their podcast or anything like that. But I've taught them how enough to be able to do it on their own. Now, there's little things, of course, we're not perfect. The camera angle, I could have a little better positioning with. Uh, the mic was a little far away. But then again, they were doing this art 
therapy project kind of thing. So they have giant pieces of paper in front of them. So the mic is a little f further back, more towards the camera. So and it was on the uh, the three, which is the uh, omnidirectional. So it was picking up a little more of the room noise and everything like that. Just little 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 things, but uh, but still, it got done, and it was good quality. It was it was it was something I could use. And uh, we cleaned it up a little bit in Final Cut, and it is shipped out into the internets and the iTunes and, and iHeartRadios and wherever else we put that thing. And, and, and it's out there, and, and we're, and, which is great because I was really worried about going two weeks because we, were, we had a weird off week uh, because carpets were getting replaced or something like that. Um, and, and I always worry about having that gap in there because I'm really big on that, you know, that podcast consistency. And it gets weird because if we have a holiday, it's not the holiday we don't have a podcast because I go ahead and schedule it. It's the week after we don't have a podcast because of the, the, the delay, the lack of content we did the week before because I try not to sit there and push it out by the end of the day. I get it done and then plan it for the next week on a release day. So it's there brand new on that Monday. And... Um, and 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 it's kind of nice. It's kind of nice. So I, I think that's it's really important when um, you know you look at these kinds of things. And also, kind of what position are you in? I I, I talked in another episode about the um, the the several keys of uh, social media assistance, basically, right? And there's uh, am I helping you do this? Am I doing this for you? Or am I doing this while kind of teaching you how to do it along the way? We've kind of shifted from one to a partial other of that where I've been doing it, but now I'm picking up finally a little bit. Hey, can you do a little bit of this? Can you do a little bit of this? Especially being there only one day a week, um, which I think is very, very limiting as far as uh, the effectiveness of their stuff. If there's not somebody kind of on it all the time, keeping an eye on it and responding to things and being social on the social media throughout the week, more than just the nine to five Monday thing. I think it's very important. I think it's, uh, you need that kind of wider accessibility. Um, so I don't know. It's a. Uh, it, it was just kind of a thing that I've been pondering today. Something that developed over over. Eh, life gets you uh, wherever it gets you. So, um, but go check that out. Check out the educational grand rounds. What we're doing with them out there. We have about two and a half years of content. Great evergreen content that you can go check out at seclair uh, com. Look up the Educational Grand Rounds. Click on any of those links at the bottom, including YouTube, uh, iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, and iHeartRadio for that show from Seclair. Um, also, it might be oddly listed as Seclair Chatterbox, which was like kind of the early iteration of this podcast in some places. Some of those things don't update as well as they should or get lost in the fold. But Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, we have uh, some things going up. Well, the holiday is getting weird, but we are looking to release details here very soon on the Insta Content uh, webinar. And uh, not Lunch and Learn. It's going to be more like a Supper and Learn or something. I don't know. We'll work on the name of that. <laughs> From the Sidekick Media uh, Educational Series. Uh, you can find out a little bit more, at least visually, what we're doing at SidekickMediaServices.com, SorgatronMedia.com for all the fun shows. I think we're going to have a very, very fun week. And also go check out Sawtooth Willie launching every Monday here. And uh, we're going to have to get in the studio and uh, visit old Sawtooth and see what's up with him very, very soon as well. Thank you, everybody, for joining me. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.